welcome to the Blue Wave Sports Show. I'm Hannah Warner. And I'm Jasmine Montgomery. Thank you for joining us today as we end this season of the Blue Wave. Let's start off with an update from our baseball and softball analyst, Alan Chicatello. Hey guys, well, the baseball and softball teams are on very different paths right now. The baseball team is 28 and 10. They're 12 and 6 in the conference and 18th in the country, which sounds great. But after going, after beating UCF 5 to nothing on April 5th, they've gone 6 and 6 in their last 12 games, which isn't great. They lost two of three at FIU, which was a big conference game, and even home against Charlotte. They did rebound, though, and beat the number one ranked Miami Hurricanes, though, four to three last week. So that was a huge boost for them going forward. They play seven of their eight next games at home against Conference USA opponents, so that'll be a huge test for them going into the offseason. They travel to Miami again, too, for another rematch, which I'm sure the Hurricanes are going to want to get back at them for on May 4th. Uh, according to the predictions, they have a very good chance of making the tournament and going really far. Uh, as for the softball team, they have been doing fantastic. They're 41 and 7, 16 and 2 in conference, with 13 straight wins on their record. They're 23rd in the country and have really been skyrocketing up the rankings. Uh, they've been carried by the pitching of Kylie Hansen. She's 22 and 3 with a .66 ERA with 12 shutouts this, so far this season. And this past week, she was named the Conference USA Pitcher of the Week for the fifth time this year. They close out the season against Western Kentucky and away at UTSA. I think both these teams are looking very good going into the playoffs. So, Alan, how far do you see the softball and baseball teams going this season? Well, the way that the brackets work is that there are 16 ranked teams, and they each host a regional that consists of four teams that they all play each other. So the predictions say that FAU is in the Florida State Regional right now, so that's going to be a tough matchup. But I think they can get by them with their pitching, and their hitting has been spectacular this season. Uh, past that, they will play Mississippi State if they get out of their regional which I think would be a very tough matchup, but I could see them beating them too. I could see them getting all the way to Omaha at the College World Series. And as for the softball team, I think the sky's the limit for them too. With the pitching by Kylie Hansen, I think they could go all the way. Well, thank you so much, Alan. The football team ended their spring camp by playing in the annual Red vs. White spring game. Our man Sardewi was there to see how the Owls are looking for next season. It is spring cleaning for the Owls as they test out a new fast-paced spread office on the new offensive coordinator, Travis Trickett. Dominance is the only word that can describe FEU's 2016 spring game. The red team dominated the white team 55-0 in FEU's annual spring game. The red team that consists of the projected starters was led by quarterbacks Jason Driscoll and Daniel Parr. Both QBs continue to show why they deserve the starting position, with Driscoll finishing the game 20 of 27, throwing two TDs and an interception from safety Richie Kittles. Parr went 9 for 12 for two passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown. Running back Kareth White also shined and ended the game with two touchdowns. The Owls' new spread offense scored 31 points with Parr on the field and scored 24 points with Gistel on the field. The football team will open the 2016 season at home Saturday, September 3rd versus Southern Illinois. Here at FU Stadium, I'm Amon Sardui with the Blue Wave Sports Show. The red team dominated the white team. Wow. 55-0, to zero. the white team did not score once. Next season is looking good for the Owls. I'm excited to see how the team looks in September. The women's golf team season came to an end at the Conference USA Tournament. The Lady Owls finished 10th in the Women's Golf Championship with a total score of 944. The men's golf team tied for 12th at the Conference USA Men's Golf Championship. FAU men's tennis team lost 4-1 to to Old Dominion in the first round of the 2016 Conference USA Championship. And the women's tennis team lost to Marshall in the first round of the Conference USA Tournament. And sadly, the beach volleyball team lost to LSU 3-2 to in the quarterfinals of the Coastal Collegiate Sports Association Tournament, bringing their season to an end. Thank you so much for watching this season of the Blue Wave Sports Show. Be sure to check out our Twitter page for breaking FAU news. Have a great summer and we'll see you in the fall of 2016.